Ice Ice Baby We usually don't think about ice too much, unless there's none in the freezer and we have to drink a warm can of soda, or we're navigating a sidewalk on the way to the car on a winter's day, but these next videos will have you thinking about ice in ways you've never thought possible. 15 Most Incredible Things Found Frozen in Ice Ice Sculptures Along Alaska's icy waters on Point Warrensoff near Anchorage, there are over 85 sculptures installed, each of which is a piece of art dedicated to those suffering from mental illness and trauma. From afar, they look a lot like people standing in the snow, but upon closer inspection, you'll realize they're actually a bunch of statues. The sculptures were made up of straw, cement, and plaster. They look very realistic and like the people they were modeled after. Most of them have been damaged by the harsh winter conditions, which leaves them looking creepier. But those that survived the disaster were hauled up the shoreline and placed in standing positions. The essence of art is not just about its beauty and being divine, but withstanding the test of time as it depicts reality in its harshest form. The sculptures that remained after those horrible winter conditions have met the conditions and essence of art, as they'll leave their artists satisfied that they not only got an audience, but remained in tough times and have the world talking about them. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. What they discovered frozen in ice shocked the whole world. Do werewolves exist? Because this picture could indicate that possibility. The werewolf is a mythological animal and the subject of many stories throughout the world, and more than a few nightmares. Werewolves are, according to some legends, people who morph into vicious, powerful wolves. Others are a mutant combination of human and wolf, but all are bloodthirsty beasts who cannot control their lust for killing people and animals. It's unclear exactly when and where the werewolf legend originated. Some scholars believe the werewolf made its debut in the Epic of Gilgamesh, the oldest known Western prose when Gilgamesh jilted a potential lover because she turned her previous mate into a wolf. Wherever the werewolf legend originated, Finding a beast like this frozen in ice is altogether terrifying, don't you think? Leave a comment below, hashtag sweet topic. It's so amazing to see the current form into an ice vortex that spins. Whenever this happens around people, they tend to take out their phones and begin recording, as this is not something that happens all the time. But when it does, people would love to relive the moment by having a video of it on their phones that they can share with their friends and family, and even make it a trend. This has even become a center of attraction for tourists in China, as you can see tourists standing on the ice vortex as it rotates clockwise. Content creators are also seen with their drones hovering around the ice vortex, capturing its beauty and sharing it with their audience, because this will not last forever. It comes once in a blue moon and dissipates quickly when the weather becomes warmer. Sea Dragon we all know that there are different creatures living in the sea, some of which we know and others we don't. But one thing that will catch one's attention is a sea dragon. Can you count how many times you've seen a sea dragon? I bet some of you don't even know what they look like. In the US frozen state of Alaska, some tourists captured a moment where a creature with seven black fin looking features was poking out of the water. No one had a perfect explanation of what they saw, but what is certain is that it was a sea dragon and it was brought into the open by the noise from the glacier collapse. <laughs> ice Age Cave An ice age is a long period of reduction in the temperature of the Earth's surface. There have been about five major ice ages in the history of the Earth. There's an ice age that's 10,000 years old. There's a cave in Canada that's frozen every summer. It was first explored in 2008. However, many passages are yet to be explored and mapped. In a bid for adventure, people try out different things, one of which is climbing an ice age cave hidden in the mountains. Some consider it a routine, others an adventure, to be able to climb ice or get mountaineering experience. Whichever it is, it's an incredible sight to behold. Despite the rigorous process of getting to such sites, from your car getting tucked in the mud to other factors that may affect your experience. As weird as it may sound, archaeologists have recovered artifacts from some caves that show patterns of daily life for hunters who live there. The Frozen Aquarium 
Another incredible thing found frozen in ice is the frozen aquarium. You've heard of frozen fish, right? Well, Japan has an ice aquarium with lots of sea animals that are all dead and frozen. It's located in Kisanuma, Miyagi. The Japanese authorities inaugurated a frozen aquarium to keep visitors cool and entertained as a way of battling the summer heat wave that hit Japan in 2010. This has become a welcome tourist attraction. One is even allowed to go with one's children, so if you're thinking of where to take your children, you may want to consider visiting Japan's Kisanuma. It turns out that fish is not the only thing put on ice. There are over 80 species of different marine life, which include, but are not limited to, crabs, octopus, and sari. It's such a beauty to behold as some call it ice art, as it has 450 specimens and can freeze everything. These locally caught fish are presented for one's perusal. These fish are not for sale, but are there for one's viewing pleasure. As one would anticipate, these museums are cold, so visitors would have to wear jackets for a walk through the museum. Operation Habakkuk Not everyone is granted access to classified information from the government, so when you have one, it's an incredible thing to take note of or discover. During the Second World War, the British planned to construct an aircraft carrier, an ice-based composite material termed picrete, which is a mixture of wood pulp and ice, for use against the Germans. It was a top-secret project that would have caused massive destruction if it had been completed. Since it did not melt away, pirates can explore what remains of it, and it's not very deep, but within people's comfort zone, which is about 85 feet. This historic site is clean and protected by the National Park. It has staff ready to guide you on a dive. Ancient Skis Over time, there's been an evolution of various tools and equipment used to carry out tasks. One of the incredible things you'll find frozen in ice is ancient skiing. Not all of them are found in perfect condition, but one out of two is found complete, including the binding, like the exceptional pre-Viking ski found at the Deer Gordon Ice Path in Norway, which happened to be 1,300 years old. This ski that was discovered by archaeologists was better preserved because it was buried deep in the ice, thanks to the glacial melting increased due to climate change, which is enabling archaeologists to discover more clues to ancient life in an icy environment. The skis found were not identical and were not expected to be, as they are handmade and not mass-produced, although trying to understand why and how the skis got to Mount Deer Garden is something that one has to speculate about. One can say it was likely where hunters went, as artifacts also discovered evidence of reindeer hunting. <laughs> Crashed plane. This brings us to the next incredible thing found in ice, crashed planes. There have been notable incidents of plane crashes resulting in the deaths of people on board since the invention of the plane. But what we don't frequently hear is a crashed plane frozen in ice. In 1952, over 70 years ago, on an Alaskan glacier, a military plane crashed, killing 52, and the remains of those killed were not retrieved, so the plane and all it contained gradually fell to the bottom of the mountain. The plane was traveling from Fort McCord to Elmendorf Air Force Base in Anchorage when weather changes caused it to crash. This remained forgotten until a military training mission sighted a yellow raft on the glacier. During the recovery, servicemen and women searched under ice and among rocks, which led them to bring with them 100 bags of personal effects belonging to those that were killed in the crash. In order not to lose wreckage to the bottom of the lake, annual searches are being conducted at the place where the plane crash happened during the summer in more favorable weather. The remains of those who die in such incidents are then collected for further examination to determine who they were before passing away. <laughs> atomic Camp The last thing that comes to your mind when you think of things frozen in ice is an atomic camp. One of the greatest strategies used in life is of distraction. If you're aware that a thief is coming and you put some cash as a decoy to distract him from the main cash you have stacked up somewhere, trust me when I say this will work like magic. This is the exact strategy the US government used as they built a nuclear-powered research center under the Greenland ice cap to house 200 men. But it had a hidden agenda. It was to serve as the first phase of a vast network of secret ballistic missile silos. In the heat of a Cold War, the U.S. Army decided that it needed a secret atomic camp base where it could host its missiles, so they built Camp Century under the ice. Although it was a secret mission, the U.S. government decided to document the process.
The Camp Century is an abandoned military base in the near surface layers of the Greenland Century. This was hidden from the Danish government. The camp was built with traditional building materials such as wood and steel. It lasted about 10 years without upkeep, but glaciers were moving faster than expected and it rendered the camp unusable. The camp was evacuated and used less often for a few years before being totally abandoned in 1967. <laughs> Blizzard Car You may have seen snow on your windscreen before and wiped it away without thinking so deeply as to whether or not your car can get frozen in ice. On the 11th of January 2016 in Buffalo, New York, a car was found completely frozen in ice caused by an extremely low temperature and high winds of up to 47 miles an hour. The owner, who happened to be Justin Yellen, said he was having drinks with his friends and didn't want to drive home. He got his car frozen for weeks, which got him concerned about whether the car would be damaged or not. As funny as it sounds, the most incredible things hidden in ice and we have not yet taken note of them. <laughs> Huge Beavers the fifth incredible thing that can be found on ice is giant beavers. As scientists and researchers continue to dig deep, they make discoveries about things we never knew existed. The skull of a giant beaver was discovered to be the largest rodent in North America during the last ice age. These types of beaver weighed 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, and stretched 2.5 meters, which is 8 feet. Some of these beavers are facing extinction. For example, the black bear-sized beavers are no longer in existence. Some researchers and scientists try to give the reason for their extinction as the type of diet they were on. A scientific report has it that the animal survived on a heavily aquatic plant-based diet. The change in climate conditions and ice age to increasingly warm and dry has eliminated both the species' habitat and its main source of sustenance. Another beaver that went into extinction is the Castroides beaver, which lived both on land and in the water. It was located in Alaska. They stuck around for about a million years. One interesting fact about beavers is that while the Castroides ate submerged aquatic plants, other species of beavers were able to use their teeth to cut down trees and essentially shape the landscape to suit their needs. Apocalypse Vault Ever heard of an apocalypse vault? When you hear vault, you know it has to do with storage or preservation. Some vaults, like the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, has seeds for the survival of mankind, agricultural genetic diversity, and safeguard our future by storing seeds from around the world. It's amazing to see walls covered with ice, but this vault is not accessible like other tourist places as it's closed 350 days a year. The government of Norway built and fully funded the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. It's a backup facility for the world's crop diversity. It was built to withstand earthquakes and explosions, it was built to last around 200 years. It's on the side of a mountain above sea level. It's funny to note that some men tried to store their genes inside the vault, but were ignored as it's only seeds for food that are accepted. <laughs> Dead Guy Festival When people die, we bid them farewell and say rest in peace. Well, I guess people rest in peace in different ways, as some are buried, some are cremated, and others are frozen. Yeah, you heard that right frozen. In Colorado, there's the corpse of a frozen guy named Grandpa Brito Morsto. He's been frozen for years in his tough shed. He was first moved to the U.S. in 1989 by his son to be stored in liquid nitrogen for four years. He then moved the body to the Netherlands, where it's currently being kept cryogenically frozen. Some people believe he may come back to life, and they hold a weekend-long annual festival for him which takes place from Friday to Sunday, with the main events starting on Saturday. The festival is like Halloween, where people wear different types of masks, some even scary, just to celebrate. You may be wondering how a whole festival started because of one frozen dead guy. Well, he overstayed his visa in the Netherlands, so he was deported. He then requested his sister, Brito's daughter, to take care of the body. She maintained the culture of keeping the body cryogenically frozen in a shack behind her house. Not long after that, in 1995, she was evicted and she was living without electricity and plumbing. So she revealed her story to the press, and when the police investigated and found it to be true, they made it illegal to store a dead body on your property. So Ald was found guilty by a jury of building use and zoning violations. This story sparked so much interest that local authorities decided to make an exception for Brito, dubbed the Grandfather Clause. These are the events that led to this popular festival called the Dead Guy Festival. 
ice instruments. The second most incredible thing found frozen in ice is ice instruments. We all love music and the sounds we hear from musical instruments. Wouldn't it be lovely to play your favorite song on an instrument made of ice? Apart from the beautiful sounds that will satisfy the ears and the souls, the chilling feeling passing through those gloves will keep your temperature cooler than it already is. There's video that was recorded at 10 degrees below Celsius in the Arctic under the friendly midnight sun of Spitsbergen. Bill Kovitz carved the ice instruments, which was played by three different artists. The ice instruments even have names. A xylophone-shaped instrument is called an isophone. Unlike real musical instruments, when playing with ice instruments, the musicians have to be tender with them or else they'll break as they're tender and will go back into their original form in no time. I can imagine how the instrument felt in the mouth, those that you have to blow through, and it happened to be ice. If one is not careful, one can freeze in the process. Music is a universal language that cuts across all borders, so one can only appreciate the beauty and effort of these people. We even go against the weather to produce something amazing. <laughs> Cave Lion This brings us to the number one most incredible thing found frozen in ice. Cave Lion Art has been with us ever since and never ceases to depict awe and mystery. In 1939, an archaeologist excavating a cave in Germany made the discovery of a wonderful piece of ancient art that had the body of a human but the head of a lion. This one tells us what was going through their minds at the time. They probably shared an environment with lions or tried to identify with the strength of a lion as different caves around the time had pieces of art with lions drawn on them. Scientists are also hoping to use the DNA from the 12,000-year-old extinct cave lion cub, which was preserved in ice to bring this extinct species back to life. They believe it'll be easier than cloning a woolly mammoth. Mummified bodies found in permafrost are some of the best evidence we have for their existence. The cave lions are the most intact Ice Age remains ever found. They have fur, ears, soft tissue, and whiskers, which are all identifiable. Cave lions, although extinct, are not far from modern lions in the genetic tree. I hope you enjoyed this discovery. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.